Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a bunch of different banners uh, that you can use in your art journals, in your scrapbook pages, in your cards. I'm just going to find a blank page in my journal here um, to demonstrate this. And oh my gosh, I don't have very many blank pages left. I'm going to have to get a new journal pretty soon. There we go. Here's one. Um, okay, so the first, the easiest way to do a banner, I think, is to start with a squiggle. And I'll show you what I mean. Just kind of do any sort of random squiggle that you like. Okay, now let's find the center and let's make our main banner area. Okay, so I've gone over to the first bump. Now when you get to a bump, draw a line down. Okay, you just want to make sure you keep about the same thickness. And here I can kind of notch the ends if I want to. And then so then when I go up here, I've got a pretty wide gap there, so I want to make sure that I don't have it too thick there. And then I'll bring it over here to the next bump. And you can make it get smaller as it gets away from you if you want to have a little more uh, perspective. So there, and that would be a really great way for you to write a title or write a word. Uh, if you're doing some chalkboard art, this would be a kind of a fun um, element into the center. Now something you see pretty frequently on like the chalkboard style of art, and I made an error on this. I did use this uh, kind of technique on a journal page, and I really wasn't thinking about what I was doing. Um, and this is this double banner here is kind of a nice way to add a couple words um, in a design element. And so what I'm going to do is I just drew my two boxes and then I've got this connecting piece in here would be kind of like a ribbon in the background. And so you want to kind of follow where your ribbon goes. And I made a mistake. I had the tail coming out from the same direction where the fold was. So that's why it didn't work. So then you've got your tail ribbon there, and then of course, since we know the ribbon's folded, go, goes up that way, then we'd have our other tail that way. Okay, so that would be a great way to get two words in. Um, sometimes what you want to do is have kind of like a center area. So maybe I'll start with a curved line that way, and then that way. You can make it symmetrical if you want, but I'm going to do the same exact thing as I did with this long banner. I'm just going to bring line, a line down on each side, determine how thick I want that to be, then bring my line over, and then do the same exact thing for each of these little bends. Okay, see how easy it is to draw a ribbon? And it's a really fun design element to add onto a card, scrapbook page, journal page, uh, whatever sort of art you like to do. So I'd love you to try that. Um, you know, you can make you can make all sorts of really, really fun banners just by starting with a squiggly line. You can have them go in whatever direction you like. Just keep in mind how a ribbon goes. I like this because I think it looks kind of medieval. You can even have it go back. Just experiment with, with it. Have fun. Learn how to draw banners and it will add a lot to your art journal projects and cards and whatnot. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If uh, you have any questions, please leave a comment below. If you like this, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.